Hi everyone, today we will finish uh, the collection of the data uh, as you know that uh, we will be taking the screen of the game and uh, at that moment uh, the user's input uh, from keyboard we will collect them and uh, we will collect them for the purpose of training them in uh, convolutional networks and we will be a little bit talking about uh, fine tuning so, uh, as you know that we talked about the problems that we faced uh, with PinePip library, so we need to do, so we said that we should uh, take the codes of syntax and edit it for our project, and uh, it's nearly finished uh, at last stage. We talked about it. Uh, we talked about it, and then now uh, we will be doing. Uh, we will be combining uh, image data uh, and uh, keyboard data. So, as you know, that here's our game, uh, and I. Uh, my concern was. Uh, making uh, or writing the code for both platforms uh, as we talked earlier uh, pine put library is cross-platform library but it cannot detect multiple key combinations uh, it can detect but it cannot detect when it's like if you uh, if you if you uh, try to uh, understand WA, you can understand it. Uh, I mean, uh, you can make computer to understand WA uh, with PyInput library, uh, and you can also uh, make your computer to understand WD. But if you say that you need to understand, uh, if you say to the computer you need to understand WA and WD, uh, it cannot detect. Uh, key combinations when they are actually uh, listed uh, so this is our this was our problem and I think that uh, we don't need to uh, write a code for Windows again so Semtex has a lovely code for it uh, so it will be easier and uh, much more short to code with syntax code. So, with that purpose, uh, we take the codes uh, from syntax uh, library. Uh, which one are that? Uh, those are that you know, keys and get keys and direct keys are the uh, codes from syntax library. Syntax library from PyGTA five uh, and. These are directly uh, copied and pasted, and I really wanted to do m make something unique. But uh, from now on, uh, we we can uh, do uh, we can write code for uh, Windows platform, and if I can find a solution for PyInput, and I'm trying to uh, communicate with the author of the uh, prime put. Uh, if I can find a new solution for cross-platform, I will also post it. And But this is exact working code for Windows platform. So you need to copy and uh, install uh, the uh, requirements. Uh, what is What are the requirements, for example, Win32 API uh, library. You need to uh, import. You need to install it, and also from library keys, uh, you need C types. You need to install C types, and for the keys, uh, you need to import these libraries. Uh, you need to install these libraries. I assume that you already imported it, and also you have no problem with them. And now we are calling the logic and uh, then today we will uh, start
collecting data. So uh, you know that uh, with identity matrix, matrix uh, we instead of not just uh, getting the keys from uh, computer, for example, when uh, the syntax code of syntax uh, get keys code uh, uh, actually uh, that function I will s make you see that uh, k check function returns uh, characters that pressed by uh, that pressed by user. Uh, for example, if you press w, uh, this function will return w. If you press wa, this function will return wa. So uh, for deep learning, we will need to express, uh, uh, we, we need to determine them as a mathematical way. So to for this purpose, uh, we used uh, identity matrix. And uh, you all know what is the keys to output function. And today, we will be doing uh, we will be creating function. Uh, what is the behind? What is the logic behind it? Uh, let's pseudo code it. Uh, well, uh, we will have a, a while loop, uh, but we will say that uh, while user doesn't press Q uh, until uh, user press Q uh, do do the following uh, take the image of the game or take the screen of the game and and then take the corresponding key output and save them uh, in one file and uh, but we will do it uh, for specific time for example for five minutes uh, actually f for every five minutes we need to save them uh, why it's five minutes five minutes is enough for uh, our game uh, enough for collecting data uh, and let's start and now let's create a function which has name collect data and in this function we have no parameters uh, we will be determining all the parameters inside the part inside the function uh, and so for the uh, image da data uh, we need to determine an, uh, determine empty array uh, and for also key data we need to create an empty uh, array and and then we will be uh, adding instant uh, user input and uh, screen of the game uh, we will be instantly instantly taking them and uh, adding them, appending them uh, to these uh, files, uh, to these arrays actually, and then we will make them uh, file. So, and uh, we will need time to start collecting uh, to start collecting data. For example. Uh, Actually, let's first code it and then talk about it. So what does it mean? Uh, well, we will be using time function and we need one second. So what is that? Uh, it will showing us uh, some numbers four, three, two, one, and then it will start. And uh, between these numbers, there are one. There are one second. There is one second. And actually, uh, let's. 
let's run the function and see the result for it. And I'm saying again that these are the codes from Sandbox, and we are editing it uh, for our project and for our purpose. And you see that uh, uh, in a descending order, uh, we have uh, we we have time to, uh, for example, opening the Firefox and opening our game. And for example, if we didn't start, uh, we will be starting playing the game. So this is, uh, you know, you understand the purpose of this code. And then what we should do? Uh, well, we initialize a matrix, two matrices, uh, image data and K data. And while, well, we need to also instantiate some uh, Boolean value. For example, let's say it no quit. Well, if it's true, do not quit. And why did we? Why do we do it like that? Uh, if user pressed Q, uh, whole function will finish. Whole function, whole process will be finished, and then uh, we will have just these files, the the saved files in that uh, in that folder. So while true, while we don't have to quit uh, from our while collecting the data, we have while we don't have to quit, uh, and we need to instantiate some time to uh, to understand the to see the uh, how uh, how does it take to uh, take user input and uh, the the image of the game. Uh, to understand, we need to use a uh, time lab time lab library, and let's take the game the the gameplay uh, with with uh, image grab function, which we imported from uh, pill library uh, Python and Im Python imaging library, as I know. Uh, so, with uh, Python imaging library, we need uh, grab function, uh, and we have the parameters named vbox. And for my purpose, uh, for uh, for my computer, I need to take uh, area of this, and I need to uh, determine the coordinations of it. So I try and find it and but I will be explaining for you now so there are some numbers here that uh, looks complex but uh, it's not actually complex but it's hard to find the exact location of your screen uh, but actually this is uh, the thing that I explained in uh, in the second video probably and uh, as you know this is the x part and y part and w width and height so what are these x is the uh, distance between this line uh, and when x is 0 you are at there and x is uh, for example 200 you are probably at there and y is actually the coordinate uh, the origin uh, is at here so with the first two parameters uh, you are determining the uh, you are determining the uh, point for starting uh, for uh, starting to take uh, your take your uh, takes the screenshot so uh, 230 and 300, you are at there. And well, uh, Centix says that these are W and hash, I mean, these are weight and uh, width and height. But probably my assumption is that this is x2 and this is y2. Uh, 
So <coughs> the first parameter indicates uh, no, I don't want x. The first two parameters indicates the first location, and the last two parameters indicates uh, this for the second point uh, and uh, the location of the second point. Uh, so between this uh, our uh, image graph library, uh, our graph function will determine an area uh, between these two points. So it will say that between these two coordinates take the uh, image of the screen. So uh, we will be seeing that, uh, seeing the uh, screen input uh, after probably five minutes and so we will be explaining them they are not comp uh, I will be explaining them they are not complex but uh, I need to understand I need to explain something that is more necessary well at f what is going on here uh, there is a NumPy array, and in that NumPy array, uh, we will be taking the uh, screen of the image and converting it to the NumPy format, and then adding it to the uh, image data. This is all the story. But the important part is uh, with the we need to do uh, resizing with. Uh, OpenCV's with OpenCV library and uh, why we need to resize it and before that uh, in resize function uh, your first parameter is the uh, is your uh, image or it's just actually image and uh, your second parameter is the uh, is the is your target value of uh, your image and and actually your image your uh, screenshot will be resizing to to 224 to 224 why we have that specific value of uh, image why do we need that actually why do we need 224 pixel to 224 pixel and uh, as I told you before uh, we I did uh, some I did a project uh, like that uh, with GTA Y City like Centex and after that uh, I learned something about fine-tuning and uh, the aim of the fine-tuning is uh, taking the weights of uh, another convolutional neural network uh, which, uh, which is which was trained on uh, ImageNet uh, competition and fine-tuning these weights uh, for our data. What I mean by this? Uh, ImageNet uh, is a competition for uh, computer science and it's actually a it's like the Olympiad Olympiads of uh, Olympics of uh, object classification so in this competition uh, my internet is not that good probably for that for uh, in this competition uh, you have uh, probably more than one million uh, pictures and you are uh, you need to classify the images as more accurate as they want and there are some uh, models that is trained for ImageNet classification problem and uh, in ImageNet competition uh, you you have some data and hundreds and thousands of images you have and uh, let's open it in that 
competition. Some uh, convolutional net neural network types that are created by uh, academics or uh, some data scientists uh, are very successful in that. And what we will be doing, we are taking the weights of it, we are taking the weights of famous uh, convolutional neural networks uh, such as Inception, V3 or VGG16 or VGG19 and we will be fine-tuning these weights uh, for our uh, for our project so I can't see the image at there but you see that there are four 14 million images and uh, some Some convolutional neural networks are very good at this competition, and VGG16 is the easiest one probably because uh, the, the year that VGG16 and 19 were successful probably 213 or 214. So we will be taking the weights of. Uh, VGG16 or any other uh, pre-trained model and we will be d using it for our project uh, and this will this result in a faster training and more accurate training and for that purpose and you see that the input format of VGG16 is 224 224 so this is the pixel and the you, you see some tree there, this is actually a red, green, blue channel of your image. Uh, probably you know the story, uh, but you should check the fine tuning uh, online, uh, what's that about, you need to understand it. And we will be using that, we will be using fine tuning and for that purpose we need to save our screenshot in 224. 224 pixels so this is actually for that these 224 pixels 224 pixel is for fine tuning and uh, we will be doing it uh, for more accurate results and more faster training and uh, you should research it if you do not know that so we resized our uh, screenshots uh, our instant screenshots so and then what should do, what should we do we actually need to take the uh, take the user input uh, that user pressed on for example w we need to understand it but this function returns a characters list for example, if you press W and D, it will show that uh, user press W and the user also press D. So, the purpose of this keys to output function uh, is converting them in a mathematical way. So, and also, and we will be, we are taking uh, the characters of our uh, characters that uh, actually uh, you take your uh, computer takes user input from the keyboard and we are we need to convert it to the mathematical way and for that purpose we will be using keys to output function and its parameters is keys and this will return to for example let's say it we, we we named uh, the instant uh, screen of the game uh, screen array and similar to that we will be saying that key array is our instant user input for uh, that specific uh, moment of the game. So this is our key array and now we are taking both so then we need to say we need to save it to the our larger uh, array that is named that are named image data and key data 
and for image data uh, we need to use numpy append function similar to the uh, key, array we will key data we will be doing the same for it and we need to append uh, our key array to the key data which is larger uh, and uh, sorry sorry and we need to add our instant screen of the game which is named uh, screen array to the uh, image data array and then we will be saving it and uh, for key data we are exactly doing the same we are uh, appending key array to the key data so what should we do after this uh, and I didn't mention uh, for uh, in what order we should save our data we should save our, save our data in a numpy format numpy file format uh, we need to determine this and for that we need to instantiate a count vari variable and uh, in that count variable we will be increasing uh, it in every uh, every call every stage of the collecting data so we have these arrays and we need to increase count uh, by one so what is the purpose of this in only one iteration of uh, while function we are taking the screen and we are taking the corresponding keys and we are appending it we are appending instant uh, data datas to the uh, our uh, target data and we need to save it and in that uh, in that iteration we also need to determine some uh, count value that uh, makes us stop in at some number so before that, uh, before explaining that, uh, we need to see how much does it how much does it take to uh, take collecting data for one iteration. So loop we will be using time function for that. Loop tools uh, that's seconds, uh, blah blah seconds. And we need to uh, format it uh, with uh, instant uh, with instant time and the time that we started to uh, function. So it will show the difference between first iteration and second iteration, and then we will be increasing it. And if count is for example, if count is uh, 100, we need to save the for save the save our data uh, with that format. So uh, let's see, let's check if it works. But before that, we need to let's show the screen uh, with OpenCV's imshow function, and let's say the, the screen. This is the name of our screen, and then. Uh, we need to determine some uh, color settings and for that we will be using uh, color by BGR to RGB and also we need some if condition uh, for Well, if user press uh, press Q, we need to uh, computer needs to stop the uh, stop taking the screen of the game. 
and this is actually a mandatory code for OpenCV. If you used that before, uh, you are familiar. And if you do not use OpenCV, uh, that code is just nothing. It's just a general code for uh, OpenCV. What is the aim of it? Uh, if you write that function, you are taking the screen uh, for a moment. But if, co if condition says that uh, if user doesn't press Q, always show the screen of the game. Uh, or always show the screen. And we will be using uh, for uh, screening our game. And uh, this is just a code that is well known uh, for, uh, for the users of OpenCV. So, and also we need some break here and uh, let's start to see how it works we have some problem here S uh, syntax error where is that um, let me solve it okay problem is at there I didn't I add uh, parentheses cor that corresponds to that print function so this was the problem let's start it I hope that we will have no problem and let's this is our game and this is our pie charm and we need let's do it like that oh we have another problem main last is not defined let me solve it too okay our problem is uh, instead of this I put comma I don't know why and our problem is now probably done and uh, let's run it again I hope we will have no problem and let's see that so hmm okay another problem is that and I actually uh, I did that uh, error for you to see that and you need to m make your every for example for s for open cv uh, you need to uh, format your data in a numpy array format so you need to uh, put your put your screenshots uh, to the uh, numpy array this is what this was the problem that i faced and couldn't solve uh, for two days and i want you to see that and i hope that you uh, you will never uh, that you will never fa face with that error or errors like that because it's kind of boring and uh, annoying to see uh, to face with errors that has no aim that is not uh, problematic, problematic in a logic way and I want you to see that actually so let's start it and let's make it small 2, 3, 1 well I have lots of problems and I'm actually writing it from uh, my another computer. Okay, probably uh, another problem is that I somehow put CV2 resize to uh, in a redundant uh, bracelet. So I hope that we will not, we will not be facing another error. Uh, I hope. Let's see that. Well, okay, uh, you are seeing uh, the image of the, this, the game and you see that it's, it is much more smaller uh, if you compare it to the uh, second video probably that we are trying to understand the logic behind uh, screenshotting the uh, game. So you see that, you see, you see some numbers here and this is actually uh, when the element of 
the arrays increases and, and the probably actually uh, screen array for example you see some files here and this is after 140 iterations uh, you have a numpy format uh, array and it's 164 megabytes so when it's when the element of uh, your array increases uh, this loop will take lots of time because it will be harder to add a new element to the uh, key data uh, to our larger uh, datas so for that uh, we will be doing and using count function uh, we will be doing what uh, we will be doing let's stop there we will be doing a some uh, we'll be using count for determining the iteration that we are uh, trying to save so we will be uh, saving our big arrays main arrays if our count uh, is for example, uh, if our count, when our count is divided by 140, and if the remaining is zero, uh, save it. What that means, uh, if our count is uh, 140, 260, 420, save our uh, large datas. Uh, to into a numpy format into a into a .nm and npa format and then uh, create a new uh, new empty array and then uh, also uh, fill it and then save it so the per you will understand the purpose when we start the collecting uh, process so if our count is 140, it means that in every 140 iteration, uh, say determine a, a file name, uh, and let's say that it is metal, metal slug two. Let's say two. We ha I have another data from my previous previous Turkish video, and uh, let's. Uh, and also we need to add uh, we need to add to the file name we need to add uh, our iteration number to the file name uh, and we will be doing it like that and, and then uh, for every 140 iterations save the data uh, uh, with the name of file name and also to differentiate image data and key data uh, add uh, key dot mpa uh, to uh, name of the file uh, the to to the name and then uh, save key data with that name after that also uh, at 114th iteration save file and uh, the file name should be uh, screen what I said the screen uh, dot mpi and then what is the uh, array that we should save is image data and now we are saving both and then we need to instantiate uh, our main arrays again and the aim of this uh, actually 
not slowing the process of uh, taking screenshot and you will understand it better uh, while I'm collecting the data uh, so f this is our key data and this is our Im new image data which is empty umpire and then you will see the purpose of it and uh, also uh, to see if our data is saved we need to print uh, some comment here and you will see that it's it will be it will be flowing faster so we need to see if it's saved or not uh, with that uh, not funny uh, print function and uh, and then what we should do well uh, if you see that uh, we instantiate a boolean value which has name no quick and the purpose of it if our case list that is uh, taken by taken from uh, key check function uh, if that includes Q mm, for no quit make no quit false and this will uh, close our function and after that our numpy files will be created and then we will use them we will use these numpy files uh, in training the data tra in training our convolutional network actually fine-tuning our convolutional network and let's see what we have in here and uh, actually try to also check for that part and let me say that you see that at the beginning of our uh, at the be beginning of our collection collection uh, we have the loop takes 0 0.1 seconds and then it increases and this is actually about uh, after one minute probably after one minute uh, you are uh, our program uh, our loop took uh, 0 0.6 seconds so this is actually so much to take as uh, to collect data and uh, for that in every 114th iteration we are saving our data and create a new data, uh, create a new array, and save it again. And uh, why the number is 140? I tested it, and this is uh, enough time for not uh, exceeding 20, 0.20 seconds, probably something like that. So let's see the uh, let's collect our data, and before that, we need to stop. stop, stop. This is actually for. Uh, time saving uh, and this is our game and let's start it with Leo open it uh, run our program pay choose Leo and let's see what we have here so we are going there and, and it wasn't good let's close it and make it work again um, well let's also die and then start again sorry for the delay for the delay and uh, oh we don't need to even lock here I want you to see the difference between uh, the time that takes actually you will see you will understand what I mean let's start again uh, in an easy mode probably it's an easy mode I don't understand nothing on the Leo and Erica I can read and let's start it and let's start let's be Leo and we have some okay. Ooh, I need to run. 
okay, oh sorry. Well, at right side you are seeing uh, the time that is passed for, oh, I died, time that is passed for uh, warm loop. I'm not that good today. Actually, I'm not good at that game, but I'm very curious about yeah, the result of it. Oh, I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die, I don't wanna die. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, and let me play it and then explain it to you. After that, probably I will be dying after two minutes. And uh, let's see what happens. We have tanks, and I'm. I need to press S to not to uh, get beaten or not to sh be sure to try the tank. So I'm playing it. You can skip it, but I I'm actually having fun right now. And uh, what I want is okay. I will be pressing Q button. And why? What is not? Oh, okay. I probably have some errors. This should be it should be closed. Okay, uh, I will be doing that. But uh, you are seeing the saved NumPy files here, and uh, until 420, we have uh, we have three points to uh, save our NumPy file and instantiate our new arrays and let's see uh, the difference between our loop and our uh, time uh, to time that is taken by loop at first this is actually the first iteration you have 0 0.1 seconds for one loop and then, and then it increases and then it increases 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 and at 114th iteration and after your save you see that loop took uh, loop takes 0 0.1 seconds again and then it increases 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 and then after another save this is this actually corresponds to 280 our loop took uh, 0 0.1 again and then another at another stage we are seeing that 0 0.1 again but it increases if you do not save and instantiate your uh, key data and uh, image data and it increases if you do not instantiate it so the purpose of our you our saving uh, order is just uh, for not increasing the value uh, for not increasing the time that is taken by loop uh, and if you take one screenshot in one second this will be very 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 uh, bad and uh, not efficient for uh, our purpose so for the for the other video, uh, we will be training our data and fine tuning our data, and uh, I need to uh, play this game much more time, and uh, save. I need to save some data. Uh, this probably this is not. Uh, this won't result in a good result. These data, and. Uh, for the other video, we will be fine tuning, and uh, we will we will 
is training our we will we will train our data uh, and then uh, after after that video we will be using our uh, convolutional network for predicting keys for uh, equivalent uh, screenshot of the game thanks for watching and thanks for struggling with my uh, slow English level or and thanks for listening if you have question I can answer it in the comment section thank you